is day 211, a victory lost. His name was Khalid bin Walid. It meant, of course, Khalid the son of Walid. He was a good warrior. He succeeded in anything he attempted. For this reason, he had been made commander of the enemy army. Until that day, he had never been defeated. He could not bear to lose this war. Although his soldiers were defeated, he did not give up. He went to the rear of his army and looked for an opportunity to change the course of the battle. His eyes were on the hill of Ainain. Several times he had tried to pass through there, the archers using their bows and arrows as ordered by the prophet had not allowed his soldiers to pass through. He thought if these soldiers left their places, he could go behind the Muslim army and encircle them. Khalid bin Walid made sinister plans from where he was watching everything. The Muslim archers did not know anything about this plan. They were happy to see that the Muslims had won and they were celebrating. They had seen that the enemy soldiers had left behind everything they had running in every direction. The Muslims were picking up anything left on the battlefield. The archers were so excited that they could not remain idle where they were. They were eager to join their friends as soon as possible. It seemed that long ago, the Muslim had been victorious and the battle had come to an end. There were no sense in staying on top of the hill. They had forgotten that the Prophet had told them, Until I send you the permission, do not leave your place, even if the battle ends. One by one, they left their places. They started coming down to the battlefield. Their commander called them from behind. Stop! Don't go! Have you forgotten the order given by the Prophet? Although several returned after this reminder, many of them had already gone down. This was exactly what Khalid bin Walid, the enemy commander, had expected. As soon as the archers left their places, he took the soldiers still with him and went to the hill of I-9. Although several archers who had remained on the hill fought against, against them bravely, they could not hold the enemy off. Khalid bin Walid and his soldiers took over the hill. They seized the Muslims from behind at a moment they did not expect it at all. There was a reason in everything. The Prophet said, The Muslims knew this very well, but for a moment, they had forgotten about it. Thinking that the war was over and the enemy was running away, most of them had left their arms. None of them was expecting a new attack. And then, the enemy soldiers who saw the success of this cunning plan of their commander came to themselves and joined their commander in attacking the Muslims. While the Muslims had won the war in a moment of carelessness, they had lost it again. The archers regretted that they had disobeyed their commander, the messenger of Allah, and left their places. Now there was complete confusion on the battlefield. The Muslims were about to experience a disaster. There were few people with the Prophet, this handful of believers, were doing everything possible to prevent any harm coming to the Prophet. The enemy was attacking with all its strength. The Prophet was wounded. Abu Bakr, Ali and Hamza ran like lightning to protect him. They made a wall around him. This wall was made of flesh, the flesh of human beings. These self-sacrificing companions could never allow anything to happen to him unless Allah allowed it.